Isaiah chapter 25 O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things, plans formed of old, faithful and sure. For you have made the city a heap, the fortified city a ruin. The foreigner's palace is a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. Therefore, strong peoples will glorify you. Cities of ruthless nations will fear you. For you have been a stronghold to the poor, a stronghold to the needy in his distress, a shelter from the storm and a shade from the heat. For the breath of the ruthless is like a storm against a wall, like heat in a dry place. You subdue the noise of the foreigners, as heat by the shade of a cloud. So the song of the ruthless is put down. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, of rich food full of marrow, of aged wine well refined. And he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces, and the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, that he might save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain, and Moab shall be trampled down in his place, as straw is trampled down in a dunghill. And he will spread out his hands in the midst of it, as a swimmer spreads his hands out to swim. But the Lord will lay low his pompous pride, together with the skill of his hands, and the high fortifications of his walls he will bring down, lay low, and cast to the ground to the dust. Chapter 26 In that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God makes salvation its walls and ramparts. Open the gates, that the righteous nation may enter, the nation that keeps faith. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. He humbles those who dwell on high. He lays the lofty city low. He levels it to the ground and casts it down to the dust. Feet trample it down, the feet of the oppressed, the footsteps of the poor. The path of the righteous is level. You, the upright one, make the way of the righteous smooth. Yes, Lord, walking in the way of your laws, we wait for you. Your name and renown are the desire of our hearts. My soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. When your judgments come upon the earth, the people of the world learn righteousness. But when grace is shown to the wicked, they do not learn righteousness. Even in a land of uprightness, they go on doing evil, and do not regard the majesty of the Lord. Lord, your hand is lifted high, but they do not see it. Let them see your zeal for your people and be put to shame. Let the fire reserved for your enemies consume them. Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. Lord our God, other lords besides you have ruled over us, but your name alone do we honor. They are now dead, they live no more, their spirits do not rise. You punished them and brought them to ruin. You wiped out all memory of them. You have enlarged the nation, Lord. You have enlarged the nation. You have gained glory for yourself. You have extended all the borders of the land. Lord, they came to you in their distress when you disciplined them. They could barely whisper a prayer. 
as a pregnant woman, about to give birth, writhes and cries out in her pain. So were we in your presence, Lord. We were pregnant, we writhed in labor. We gave birth, as it seems, only to wind. We could not accomplish deliverance for the earth, nor were inhabitants of the world born. Your dead will live, their corpses will rise. You who lie in the dust, awake and shout for joy, for your dew is as the dew of the dawn, and the earth will give birth to the departed spirits. Come, my people, enter your rooms and close your doors behind you. Hide for a little while until indignation runs its course. For behold, the Lord is about to come out from his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their wrongdoing and the earth will reveal her bloodshed and will no longer cover her slain. Chapter 27 On that day, the Lord will punish Leviathan, the fleeing serpent, with his fierce and great and mighty sword, even Leviathan, the twisted serpent, and he will kill the dragon who lives in the sea. On that day, a vineyard of beauty, sing of it, I, the Lord, am its keeper. I water it every moment, so that no one will damage it. I guard it night and day. I have no wrath. Should someone give me briars and thorns in battle, then I would step on them. I would burn them completely. Or let him rely on my protection. Let him make peace with me. Let him make peace with me. In the days to come, Jacob will take root. Israel will blossom and sprout, and they will fill the whole world with fruit. Like the striking of him who has struck them, has he struck them? Or like the slaughter of his slain, have they been slain? You contended with them by banishing them, by driving them away. With his fierce wind, he has expelled them on the day of the east wind. Therefore, through this, Jacob's wrongdoing will be forgiven and this will be the full price of the pardoning of his sin. When he makes all the altar stones like pulverized chalk stones, when ashram and incense altars will not stand, for the fortified city is isolated, a homestead deserted and abandoned like the desert. There the calf will graze, and there it will lie down and feed on its branches. When its limbs are dry, they are broken off, Women come and make a fire with them, for they are not a people of discernment. Therefore their Maker will not have compassion on them, and their Creator will not be gracious to them. On that day, the Lord will thresh from the flowing stream of the Euphrates River to the brook of Egypt, and you will be gathered up one by one, you sons of Israel. It will come about also on that day that a great trumpet will be blown, and those who were perishing in the land of Assyria and who were scattered in the land of Egypt will come and worship the Lord on the holy mountain in Jerusalem. Chapter 28 Woe to the proud crown of the habitually drunk of Ephraim and to the fading flower of its glorious beauty, which is at the head of the fertile valley of those who are overcome with wine. Behold, the Lord has a strong and mighty agent, as a storm of hail, a tempest of destruction. Like a storm of mighty overflowing waters, he has thrown it down to the earth with his hand. The splendid crown of the habitually drunk of Ephraim is trampled underfoot, and the fading flower of its glorious beauty, which is at the head of the fertile valley, will be like the first ripe fig prior to the summer which one sees, and as soon as it is in his hand, he swallows it. On that day, the Lord of armies will become a beautiful crown and a glorious wreath to the remnant of his people, a spirit of justice for him who sits in judgment, a strength to those who repel the onslaught at the gate. And these also reel with wine and stagger from intoxicating drink, the priest and the prophet reel with intoxicating drink. They are confused by wine, 
They stagger from intoxicating drink. They reel while having visions. They stagger when rendering a verdict. For all the tables are full of filthy vomit, without a single clean place. To whom would he teach knowledge, and to whom would he interpret the message? Those who just weaned from milk? Those just taken from the breast? For he says, order on order, order on order, line on line, line on line, a little here, a little there. Indeed, he will speak to this people through stammering lips and a foreign tongue. He who said to them, This is the place of quiet, give rest to the weary, and this is the resting place. But they would not listen. So the word of the Lord to them will be, Order on order, order on order, line on line, line on line, a little here, a little there that they may go and stumble backward, be broken, snared, and taken captive. Therefore, hear the word of the Lord, you scoffers, who rule this people who are in Jerusalem. Because you have said, We have made a covenant with death, and with Sheol we have made a pact. The gushing flood will not reach us when it passes by, because we have made falsehood our refuge and we have concealed ourselves with deception. Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says, Look, I am placing a foundation stone in Jerusalem, a firm and tested stone. It is a precious cornerstone that is safe to build on. Whoever believes in it need never be shaken. I will test you with the measuring line of justice and the plumb line of righteousness. Since your refuge is made of lies, a hailstorm will knock it down. Since it is made of deception, a flood will sweep it away. I will cancel the bargain you made to cheat death, and I will overturn your deal to dodge the grave. When the terrible enemy sweeps through, you will be trampled into the ground. Again and again that flood will come, morning after morning, day and night, until you are carried away. This message will bring terror to your people. This bed you have made is too short to lie on. The blankets are too narrow to cover you. The Lord will come, as he did against the Philistines at Mount Perizim, and against the Amorites at Gibeon. He will come to do a strange thing. He will come to do an unusual deed. For the Lord, the Lord of Heaven's armies has plainly said that he is determined to crush the whole land. So scoff no more, or your punishment will be even greater. Listen to me. Listen and pay close attention. Does a farmer always plow and never sow? Is he forever cultivating the soil and never planting? Does he not finally plant his seeds? Black cumin cumin, wheat, barley, and emmer wheat, each in its proper way and each in its proper place? The farmer knows just what to do, for God has given him understanding. A heavy sledge is never used to thresh black cumin. Rather, it is beaten with a light stick. A threshing wheel is never rolled on cumin. Instead, it is beaten lightly with a flail. Grain for bread is easily crushed, so he doesn't keep on pounding it. He threshes it under the wheels of a cart, but he doesn't pulverize it. The Lord of Heaven's armies is a wonderful teacher, and he gives the farmer great wisdom.